So, this is the exercise. This exercise, I think. So with this exercise and this resolution, I think it's a really good time to talk about the connection of values and arguments. So values are a way that you can support your arguments and use values as evidence. But a lot of our arguments are based on these value tensions. So when we go through the arguments, I want the rest of the audience to discuss what type of value is at the base of that. So I think understanding that and the connection of, the, of values and societal values and our policies, I think that's a really important thing to understand. In addition to that, I think recognizing the values really helps when you get to the summary speeches. So the last speeches in the debates on both sides, the negative and the affirmative. So you can talk about a lot of those values and how they should be prioritized on your certain side of the resolution. So, that's all we'll do. Who wants to do affirmative? How, you, how about you guys propose your affirmative? Yeah. Since you've worked so long on it. Torture should be used to obtain important information while interviewing a terrorist suspect in order to prevent plots. Good. The evidence is that the FBI has used information obtained by torturing a prisoner linked to Al Qaeda to prevent a terrorist attack. To get that from you. No. No. Actually, the school did a um, research on the Guantanamo interrogation techniques. Okay. Okay, so our, our um, reasoning is that we're seeking for a common good instead of an individual one. Uh, it is actual, the, actually, it's what the law in most of the countries seeks for. The common law, in, the common good, instead of the individual one. So if by torturing one person, we, could, we can save a thousand lives, why not? Good. What do you guys think? That's a good argument. Good support or good evidence. I think the evidence was good. I think the evidence probably could have been more specific, but of course you didn't have anything. We have a computer. We all have our phones. Which we see that. So what are some values that we found in this argument? Uh, well, um, the, the, the meaning over the over the individual. So the common good. The, the collective, yes. Or collective good over the individual rights. You really did a nice job of delineating that in your warrants. And I think that's a good place to put that, and put the value statements, because that's where you really connect with the audience, and you help connect, you know, you connect your argument to the adjudicator, and I think talking about those things is a good thing. What else? What are the values? So, for the common good, what about the common good? Torture does what? Right, so provide some sort of security. Security. Good. Good. Provide some sort of security. Torture is a device that we can use to help provide security. So, good. Negative argument. Who wants to go? You guys?
article number five of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And number third is stating that torture is never justified and no matter which circumstance, as a state of war, and uh, having war in the country, and I, I mean, any circumstance, and being an, an emergency situation. It doesn't matter if it's an emergency situation. Okay. Uh, there is some Uh, yes, it is like, like uh, how a, a person that is willing to torture have, uh, can have the, the moral authority to say when it's an extreme situation. And um, yes, you know. So the person is torturing. Uh -huh. it's a, okay. How does that connect to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights? Well, uh, uh, it's also important that, that we, we can't start to pick and choose uh, which rights we are going to respect and which ones we won't. Okay. So it is very important that uh, we have a, a common place to, to settle with all of Okay. So morality is not universal. Okay. Okay. Because for example, they are not the universal. morality is universal. Yes. Yes, yes because should, should the affirmative are saying that we are, we are saving millions of lives or hundreds of lives or one more life than torturing one. So why that one life that is being tortured has not the same value as the other as the other ones that are that are saved? I can say that we need to respect the person's dignity only for the simple reason that when you are a person, you have dignity, and you need to protect uh, your all sure. uh, your all, all things, <laughs> yeah, like psychology, like physical, all these things, for the simple reason to be person. This is I think. great evidence, great claim, good reasoning, good, good all around. I think, especially with this topic of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Which the United States but <laughs> I'm not responsible for my policy.